it got on my wick that Jeff made me feel like a skivvy in front of our visitor, so I put on my wellies to walk up the Blackford Hill. Being inside so much confused my mind. As I walked past the pond and up the path to the observatory, I calmed down. From the ridge, I could see the whole city lying around Arthur's seat, and the castle looked like a toy on its black rock above the Forth. Agnes thought Jeff was a bit of a catch, but when she got to Edinburgh, I think she realised that his career was probably more important than his interaction with her. I hurried home past the duck pond. All the good green places were going to sleep, as if they were enchanted, and the hard streets and barracks and docks were sucking all the men away. Boundaries were changing, people were questioning identity. When Jeff became a conscientious objector, he set himself against the mainstream and immediately became marginalised. Mrs McCaffrey, she said, I have something for your husband. I thought she meant something nice, but she snapped open her bag and took out a white feather. I put my hands behind my back so she couldn't give it to me, but she pushed it towards me, right in my face. It looked like a feather from an angel's wing, curling over at the edges and fluffy at the quill. The White Feather Club was started in 1914 by Admiral Charles Fitzgerald, who encouraged women to give men they found on the street who hadn't signed up for the First World War uh, a white feather as a sign of cowardice. And this uh, continued into the Second World War. It would make life at home extremely uncomfortable for the people involved. Jeff jumped up and shouted, No one can stop us flying the flag for Scotland. But he remained true to Scotland's interests. We are fighting for her rights and freedom, just as England fights for hers against the Nazis. But we have another yoke to lay off, the yoke of English oppression, oppression of our industry, our trade and our young women who are transported as mobile labour to war factories down south. Sometimes to preserve a union... For example, in the case of Jeff and Agnes, you have to compromise on your identity to be able to keep the union going. But sometimes that's a huge personal cost. Whatever love was, it had triumphed in him. It was independent of us all, crossing battle lines on the glance of an eye. Love was the traitor who always won, creating her own foot soldiers from stolen moments and filling the silence between the guns. 